The iconic British firm Waterford Wedgwood has become the latest victim of the economic downturn and called in the administrators. It's been in business for 250 years. Its brands include historic names like Royal Dalton. The company's optimistic a buyer can be found, but the move has cast doubt over the future of nearly 2,000 jobs. Well, Mark Worthington is in Staffordshire for us, and uh, how is uh, the news being received? Well, this should have been a year of celebration here in, in Stoke-on-Trent. As you say, 250 years ago, the company Wedgwood was formed here. But because of falling sales, of difficulties getting credit in the financial crisis, the company here finds itself in administration, and that means many jobs are under threat. As you say, there are uh, jobs across the UK and Ireland in trouble here, some 600 in Stoke-on-Trent itself. 1900 across the UK as a whole. So it's no surprise that a union representative this morning has been saying the staff he's been speaking to are uh, devastated. What he also said though was that this was not a surprise. This was a company in trouble and it seems no one was under any illusions to that effect. But on the streets here in Stoke as well there is a sense of shock because Wedgwood especially has a low association here and the prospect of losing that is something that none of the, the local residents can really countenance at the moment. Now, what hope for a buyer then? What else is the company saying on that? Well, Waterford Wedgwood say that they are optimistic that a buyer can be found. And it's for that reason that at the moment the company is affected. So Wedgwood, Waterford and Royal Dalton being the main three are operating as going concerns. I'm here at the factory shop for Wedgwood. That is open and trading as normal. The management also say though that they did everything they possibly could to avoid this day but that they felt that things had gone so far that they had to put the company into administration. So I guess it's just a, a case of waiting and seeing if a buyer can be found. Back to you. Thanks Mark, thank you. A 30 year old woman has been killed on a level crossing after her car was struck by a train near Spalding in Lincolnshire. Police say two vehicles, a rover and